Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again back in Forza Horizon 5. The last time out, the Oldsmobile stayed on top after a Super Duty Ford and a Buick GSX had to go at it. The Buick was built very stupidly. I'm going to hope we don't uh, have to build it as stupidly here. Can we get a tire compound upgrade on this car? We can, but it will cost a lot of money. Yeah, we have a good engine already, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for a uh, tire compound upgrade. Go for uh, the handling parts here. Can't go for a gearbox upgrade without going for PI. So I don't have enough credits to go for a rear wing. Yeah, I still don't have enough credits to go for a rear wing. So we'll go for hmm, interesting. Can I go for this? I can go for that. Get a free point back. It'll cost a bit though, but uh, that doesn't matter. The supercharger isn't even that expensive on this car. So like, see, we could do that, but then we have no way to reduce the points even more without going for stock tire compound. And I want to do a different tire compound this time, so that's what we're going to do. Could lower PI by going for this, but then we are way over budget. And without having no tire width or any other handling parts, that's just not going to work out for us, I don't think. Like, I can try with uh, stock rear anti-roll bars. And, I don't know, street brakes? Would that be worth it? It wouldn't get us below budget. I could get away with the wheel spacers or... Uh, there we go. Yeah, but then see, I saved the PI, but now I don't have the credits, so it's a pointless upgrade. I'm going to go back to that. That would be important to get, though. Look at that. 700 points, not much money, go for street brakes, I guess. I still have a stock gearbox, but uh, oh well, I guess. There we go. We're at the limit. We have better tires and a little bit of power. Yeah, it's a very difficult car to build too, because it's like right in the middle of the class. I did get the roll cage, that's important. At the expense of having no support brakes. Hopefully brakes are not important for this circuit, but you know, after that long straight, it's important to get stopped. The 
four speed. Speed wise, we're good for 130. That should hopefully be good enough for the power that we do have. Now, could I have gone for weight reduction or something like that with our budget and should have gone for the tires? Probably, but I know how bad the stock tires are for this. And just driving this right now, it feels really good. We. Tornado's been on the leaderboard for a little bit now, but maybe the Chevelle has something to say about that. It's true that it is pretty far down on power and not on good as uh, tires, but it is much lighter. So, you know, there's the thinking that that'll work. Did I even tune this car? I did not tune this car. So we're going to tune it here, because why not? Can't tune that. Uh, that's pretty okay. And that's the biggest thing right there, getting the ride height down. Pretty low tire damping uh, for the rear. That's odd. Let's just raise that back up. It's a fairly heavy car, not massively so though, so that's a good spot there. And we're good to go. Oh yeah, naturally aspirated too. That didn't even come to mind. I think everything else we've driven so far has had some kind of boost. So this is where the brakes would be important uh, if they are on this track. Those first three or four turns. Everywhere else is kind of pretty cool with no brakes. Alright, let's see how we are on the straight. We have no aerodynamics to worry about. There's good grip there. Can we outperform the olds up this hill? Maybe on a good day. Or was not a good day. Yeah, the most important upgrade so far seems to be the tires. Like, yeah, the olds is on te technically better tires, but we're still keeping up because we're so much lighter. It's odd to say that a 4,000 pound car is lighter, but it's true. The olds is almost 5,000 pounds.
They're still there with it. We are right there with it. But I know we have less power. Oh, it's going to be tricky, I think, coming up to the line. Ah, that was too much of a slide, I think. No. Yeah, the old is going to hold us off. I think it would have held us off anyways, because it's not going that much faster than us by the line. We're going the same speed. And it can just get to its top speed faster, despite having worse aerodynamics, so... Yep, the Chevelle could not beat the Olds, but it was very close. So that does bring up the question of what do we do from now on? Do we go for tire upgrade, or do we just go for power? I think we try to go for tire upgrades first. It'll eat up a lot of points, um, budget, and PI. But we saw there, it was so close. If we can just find a better balance, it can work out. That's it for the Chevelle, though. If you guys enjoyed, you can leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gambia. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody.